Hi guys, welcome back. So today is a different type of video. Right, Zussi? I just woke him up from a nap so he could, um, you know, grace us with his presence. All right, but he, he doesn't want to be in here, so we're going to let him go. But as you can see by the title of this video, it's a little different than my usual makeup lifestyle type videos. But, you know, with us being in quarantine, I figured this could help some people out. Um, if you are on in the market to get a animal, dog, cat, pet, okay? But we're going to specifically talk about dogs. Um, so I'm going to just jump right in with my story and then hopefully answer any questions that you might have if you are interested in adding a furry friend to your family. So I adopted Zeus in 2015. So he is an old boy. He's six now. He just turned six. He was one years old when I got him. So I adopted him from the Humane Society. I believe it's called the Humane Society of Hamilton County. It's in Indianapolis. Um, but every city, most cities have their own Humane Society. And that is where I got Zeusy. I promote adopting like a thousand percent. I just feel like there are so many animals out there that need loving homes. And yes, if you want like a purebred specific type of animal, you obviously can go to a breeder and buy those dogs or cats. Um, but I just really, I don't know. I just, I really <laughs> promote adopting i feel like those dogs in there they need a home number one they either came from a bad home or they came from dog shops or dog stores that they weren't being sold there so then they end up in a shelter and then the humane society doesn't do it they claim but a lot of shelters do have to euthanize um animals because there's just an overage of them and I don't know, I just, I would never have done it any other way. And if I ever get another animal in the future, I would only look into adopting. So let me jump in. Um, I bought, I, so I got Zeus. I was about to be a senior in college. I always wanted a dog and pre- meeting Zeus, I wanted a Maltese. That was like, in my head, I was like, I want a white and like gold Maltese. And that's the only kind of dog I want. Um, so that was what I had in mind. I had never had an animal growing up. Uh, me and my brother had goldfish. <laughs> so that, you know, that's cute. But um, we never had a dog and I really wanted one. So I went to the Humane Society a few times, like previously and you know would look at the dogs and honestly I it would just make me really sad because I would want to adopt all of them and so the one specific time I got Zeus um they the big dogs in this specific facility the other ones might be different but the big dogs were in one room and the smaller dogs were in another room small to small to medium sized dogs were in a different room so I started here, like it basically, it was like a circle of, you know, dogs in their own little like spaces. And I started and there was some cute ones. And then I got to Zeus and Zeus was not like into uh, wanting to play. He didn't even get off of his bed. He like, nobody was paying him any attention. And then that just made me like really sad. So <laughs> I was like, oh my God. And I just, honestly, I don't know. I can't explain it, but I just felt like a connection to him. And I knew that he was going to be my child. Um, all joking aside, I really, I just love him so much. So, um, so now let me get into the policies. Well, actually, no, let me finish. Okay. Let me start here. So it was towards the end of the day that day and they weren't taking any more adoption uh, processes for that evening. Um, so I came back the next day 
Zeus was there, I'll never forget. He had this red and brown, like red and black jacket and I still have it, he doesn't wear it, but it's just like sentimental. And he was being walked by a volunteer and I was like, oh my God, like I thought somebody else was gonna adopt him, but they weren't. I was like, no, this is my dog. So um, his story is because Zeus is, I know, very, very cute. And a lot of people think that there are not cute dogs there, that they're all big or, you know, Rottweilers, Pitbulls, Shepherd type mixes of dogs. Well, that is not true, guys. Or Chihuahuas. A really popular shelter dog is a Chihuahua. Um, now, is that yes? Will you find those dogs? Absolutely. But if you're looking online for these dogs, they're not placing these type of dogs online. Like Zeus was not online for this. Um, because these dogs go quick and they want to, on their website, they want to promote dogs that it takes them, unfortunately, a little more time to be adopted out. So, Zeus is very cute. And how did he end up at a shelter? So, we don't know. Um, the story that is in his paperwork, it's like really sad and depressing, <laughs> but I can talk about it now since it's been like so long, but he was one and when they, um, I adopted him on February 28th, so that is his birthday. Um, somebody found Zeus walking in the middle of winter and it was freezing. It was at the end of January. They found him and some good Samaritan put him there's like a fenced area at the Humane Society. At night, they put him in there and the next morning, they found him. Uh, the workers found him there. And they think that he had been outside for like a very long time. His hair was all long and matted. Um, they think he had never been like groomed because when they groomed him, he didn't know what was going on. They don't think he had ever been groomed from like being born he was one years old at that time um so really sad and um he then they at the humane society they uh spayed and or neuter your the dog so he got neutered and then they have to recover from that so then he was placed for adoption and then i found him and i just feel very blessed so um with that let me tell you a little bit about the process of adopting at the Humane Society. I know there's different shelters that do different things and, you know, their policies diff differ, but this is my experience with Zeus. So there, they don't sell the dogs, but there is a fee, an adoption fee. They like, they claim it goes towards, you know, f the facility. So, and I'm all for that, I, I'll donate to them. But, um, so Zeus was $200 and you have to have an application. They are very strict, I will say that. They are very strict on who they adopt their dogs to. And I really appreciate that. Zeusy, um, <laughs> what are you doing, baby? He wants to play. Um, I really appreciate them being strict like that because let's say you uh, give it to, I don't know, Harry down the street and Harry doesn't have a stable home, can't afford a, an animal, and then you know what's gonna happen to that animal, it's gonna end up right back at the Humane Society and or a different shelter. So they are very strict on who they let the dogs go to. So I had to do this whole like application it took like some hours there um and yeah and then that basically after that was done with the humane society they gave me a like free visit the first vet visit is free so he was up to date on obviously he had just been neutered um i needed to get rabies um bordetella is that what, yeah, Bordetella, um, a few other sh like mandatory shots, states differ, but in Indiana, all the mandatory uh, shots he had to get. And the first, once again, clinic is free. So I um, took him to this vet in Indianapolis. I love them. Um, if you're in the Indy area, Mass Ave Animal Clinic, amazing. 
don't go anywhere else. They are amazing. It's um, in Fountain Square in Mass Ave, obviously. So, and they have a grooming, so plug. Um, yeah, so he got, he went and got all his shots and he was fine. And they, so Zeus, they think He's either a Shih Tzu or a Lhasa Apso. Vets tell me different things. So I always say a Shih Tzu because in, I, I like to say I know him very well and I've done lots of research. I think he's a Shih Tzu, but he might be mixed with Lhasa Apso or something else, but he he's just adorable. Um, so this is just like um, some info that I took from, I went on to the Humane Society website to see if anything had changed. So the adoption fees on here, it looks like they're the same. So if they're one to four years old, the price is 90 to 200. Under one years old, it's 150 to 350, five to nine, 55, and 10 plus is $35. Um, so that is the fees on that. Um, and then I wanted to also state that if you are thinking of getting an animal, you have to think of different things. Like if you have a family and you have small children, toy dogs slash small dogs, dogs under 20 pounds probably wouldn't be ideal for you uh, because kids are, you know, especially little kids, they are rough with them and, you know, it's an animal. It can be, and especially like small dogs, they can be hurt very easily. So you have to think of where you're going to be within like, let's say five years. Think of that. And if you feel like you can bring a stable home to an animal, then by all means, please adopt. But if you, if it's kind of like, oh, I want to give my girlfriend a dog for Christmas. Um, okay, well, can she take care of the animal? Is she is the dog gonna end up back in a shelter and or needing a new home? Because if that's the case, I just feel like there's no sense in buying a dog. Can you afford an animal? That is one thing that dogs are not cheap. I will say that. And I'm sure you guys know I'm like really like healthy, organic, annoying you know about that but so Zeus all, like his food is not cheap and um so you have to think food heartworm flea pre preventative so that is something that depending on where you live Indiana Illinois Midwest definitely you need to have flea and tick medicine and um that I have Zeus on a brand it's called Brevecto and it is a three-month tick prevention flea and tick prevention and then I also have him on heartworm which is obviously um so he doesn't get worms uh because dogs are outside and do, if they eat something bad you know that yeah so um so I would say on average if I put all his fees together every month, I would say he's about $50 a month. That's because I get really big food and it lasts a few months. So I'm just like, on average for his medicine and his food, he's about $50 a month. So can you afford that? And if you can't, that's okay. But it maybe now is just not the right time for you to be getting an animal. Um, other questions I have, I have uh, one of my friends, hi Danica, is thinking about getting a dog. So that is what prompted me to make this video, um, hoping to help anyone who's in the you know market to get an animal. Um, also, dogs that shed versus dogs that don't shed. Okay, is anybody in your immediate family allergic to dogs or cats? But if they're allergic, that would be something to obviously note you could only get a hyperallergenic animal and then if you are adopting keep that in mind that you know you have to there's not a hundred percent chance Zeus is hyperallergenic um because should Zeus and Lhasa Apsos are but let's say he was a different he was part of a breed that wasn't that means that would be issues for anybody in your household that is allergic so once again keep that in mind um 
<laughs> so what else? Okay, before you are adopt an animal, you have to think, well, what does this animal need? Like food and water is an obvious, like, duh. Yeah, they need that, but they need a bed. They need a few toys. Um, they need a leash slash harness. Um, they also need, if you are adopting a dog, I would highly recommend a crate. Um, I crate trained Zeus for maybe five months, four or five months. And what is crate training? You might want to know. Um, so basically when you leave the house, you put them in the crate and in his crate, he had a bed and like a toy. He was fine in there. Um, but if you, that teaches them um, potty training. And I'm sure there's tons of videos on crate training and they could probably explain it better. But basically he was crate trained and he never has accidents in the house. He is angelic. Um, but no, he, it took a while, but you know, and then he was perfect. You have to just be strict on it when you come home right away. Like it's still for me, anytime I come home, like from work, from if I was out for like a few hours, Zeus goes outside when I come home. He knows that. So he just is aware that as soon as I come home, he's going to the bathroom. Um, keeping them on the schedule. So obviously a lot of people work and or have school. If you do that, so when I had him, I was in school, I would take him outside when I wake up. I still do that. And then I would get ready for class, go to class, come back it was like middle of the day like 11 noon and in that time frame he was in his crate and then I would take him out as soon as I came home he'd go back a week play whatever if I had to leave he was in the crate and then always before bed as well so he goes outside like four times a day um and walking walking guys you need to walk your dogs if you just and he is so small so people are like does he have to walk yeah he does because that just gives them, if you keep a dog in the house all day, they're obviously going to be, they, they have energy that they need to release. So you need to walk your dogs. Uh, keeping them in a house and or apartment, that's not beneficial for them. And it's not letting them live a healthy lifestyle. So can you dedicate time to walking a dog these are all questions that you need to ask yourself before adopting and making that big decision to get a dog um another thing grooming that is another cost um oh so yeah that 50 dollars that i said about a month that's only like food and his medicine but grooming is about 70 dollars um with tip and everything so it's about $70 and I get him groomed every two months so add that into grooming if you're if it's um if it's a dog that's hyperallergenic most likely he does need to get groomed and get a haircut so can you afford that so these are all questions that you need to ask yourself before getting a dog if you should have a dog and I just wanted to talk about adopting because it is something I am very, very passionate about. I love animals and, uh, you know, I know some people, not everyone's going to be like me, like so obsessed with my dog. I'm not expecting everyone to be like that. But if you're getting a dog, make sure you're willing to like love it for the in his entire life. Because if if you don't, then I just feel like there is not a point in bringing that into your house and then having him form connections because a lot of dogs on like shelter websites are older like nine ten years old and I just find that so sad because that dog is only going to live a few more years and whoever it lived with at the beginning of its life it clearly had a connection like I know Zeus if I, I would never in my life get rid of him but if I had to get rid of him which once again, I never would. But if we weren't together, I know he would be very like distraught. Like that is a lot of emotional distress that doesn't need to happen. And you just, I, if you can't, if you don't want a dog for 10 plus years, 
just I it's better off just not getting it the idea might interest you for a while but I think you should really think about having a dog months before you get one can I afford it do I have room what am I going to be doing in the next five years all of these things and then research 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 the type of dogs that you want um he's a perfect fit for me um my brother has a boston terrier and bostons are very hyper and um i i love his dog but he's much more hyper than zeus and it requires more attention so keep that in mind what type of animals would work best with you and your personality and your household so that's really all I had to say. Um, I hope this helped some people. And if you are in the market to get a dog and or animal, please, please, please adopt. Adopt. Don't shop. Um, maybe I would, like, should get a sticker. But um, yeah, because there's so many dogs out there that need a loving home. So once again, thank you guys for watching. I know it was a little different, but we don't have anything to do. Might as well educate you all on dogs and getting animals and buying a pet or getting a pet not buying adopting a pet so once again thank you for watching i will see you guys next time Thank you.